Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. Today's episode 3 of the Post Office versus the Bank 50p coin hunt. So here we go, we'll put the scores up from the previous two coin hunts we've done. There's £50 from each again today. That's the point system there on the left, simplified version, furthest left. So the rarer the coin, the more points it will get. So we'll do 20 episodes in total, £1,000 from each, and we'll see which one's better to get your rarer coins from. Is it the post office or the bank? So start off again with the post office as normal. And the post office is off to a good start there with the Christopher Ironsides 50p along with the Victoria Cross medal one there that also picking up points. The second one there, the Victoria Cross, on the front left there is the front of the Victoria Cross and on the right hand side the rear of the medal. Both of them coins are really only worth the face value of 50p but definitely one for the collection there if you don't already have it. Some interesting coin news from yesterday, the Battle of Hastings 50p actually sold on eBay for £63,000. I don't know if it is a hoax or not, it did have 41 bids so it wasn't just a buy it now price. But I do think we all know that that coin definitely isn't worth £63,000 so always do a little bit of research about coins but if it is genuine fair enough to the lucky person who managed to get £63,000 for the Battle of Hastings 50p. We all know the rarest one in circulation is the Kew Gardens 2009 that's selling for between £100 to £150. There was only 210000 of that one made compared to 6.7 million of the Battle of Hastings. So like I say, there's no way that that coin there is worth anywhere in the region of £63,000. But back to the coin on here, the last one we just came across there was the Sir Roger Bannister, that one released for breaking the 4 minute mile. And then one here, the Benjamin Bunny 50p, by far the most common of all the Beatrix Potter coins released, over 25 million mintage there. Nice one to see though, we do see it quite often, and if you are looking to complete the full Beatrix Potter set, you will need that one there to complete the collection. So we're starting to get through quite a few of the bags now from the post office. Not the best start ever. The post office has been doing really well. It has beat the bank on both coin hunts so far. But you definitely will need something here to finish off, I think, to stay ahead of the bank on points. Congratulations to Pete Corkill. He won the Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit 2018 50p, the one that won the 50p coin knockout. I did end up doing a second place prize as well on there, Carrot Collects, you won the Olympic Archery 50p, still haven't heard off you yet so make sure to comment on there and if I haven't heard you off you for a couple more days I will give you a shout out again just to make sure that you do get your hands on the coin that you deservedly won. So we're coming on to the last bag now from the post office, we did just get the Beatrix Potter 50p there as well 2016, that was a really really nice find that one there few more points on the board for the post office and that Beatrix Potter one there from 2016 that says Beatrix Potter on the front that one is worth in the region of £1.25 to £1.75 so it really was a really nice find so there we go five coins from the post office today the best one by far from the post office that Beatrix Potter one with four pretty common coins there to go along with it so here we go then we got £50 from the bank and let's see what the bank can do today if you don't have any questions, feel free to comment them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you in the next video. I do have a couple of questions, so I'll go through them now as well. Oh, got a question here, do I collect banknotes? I do mainly just stick to coins, mainly the United Kingdom ones. However, I have just purchased quite a big sale of coins and foreign banknotes. So you will be able to see them over the upcoming weeks as well. Get a little bit more range on the channel. And it's good for you guys as well if you're looking to try and find the value of some foreign coins that you might have at home. We'll get back to the questions in a minute. A really nice one there from the bank. Representation of the people's at 50p coin. A few points on the board there and a little bit closer to the post office. So another question, how long have I been doing my channel? Been doing it I think now just under two years and over I think probably the last six months we've seen so much growth in the channel and that's all thanks to you guys there at home and all I can say is thank you we've got close to 11,000 subscribers now which is unbelievable and my overall channel views is nearly a million so I'm really really impressed with that and I can never really say thanks enough. So just like the post office the bank there also got a Benjamin Bunny that just shows and this one here Sorry, Benjamin Bunny, I've had to cut you out. This is an unbelievable coin, this. This is, it's an Isle of Man 1, 2003. The coin itself is a Christianity in Man, and these coins do sell for somewhere in the region of 15 to 25 pounds, depending on the quality of the coin. 
I don't know the exact mintage, but we're going to go off the value there. And we're going to give the bank 90 points. Somewhere in the region of what the same as some of the top range Olympic 50p's are worth. So I'm so happy with that. We'll do a little bit on that coin as well in an upcoming video. I'll do a little bit for you because some of you might not have seen it before. But I'm so impressed with that and I really can't believe that we found that today. A few things I do know about that coin. It does have the Celtic cross on the front. But we'll get back... This is unbelievable, this coin hunt. We'll get back to the bank again here in the 50p coin hunt. Scouting 50p there along with the girl guiding 50p. And that has actually put the bank in first place now in this coin hunt. 30 points ahead of the post office. There's still a bag in a bit as well to go through here. So from being behind, the bank could really start dominating and get themselves a good lead here going into the fourth coin hunt. So like I was saying, it does have the Celtic cross on the front of that coin. But we will do another video on that coin there, just so you guys can have a good look at it. So coming on to the last bag now from the bank. Like I say, if anyone else does have any questions, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you in the next video. A massive shout out as well to everyone again that subscribed to my channel. I'm going to do another one day giveaway tomorrow, so make sure to check that out as well. And we have still got the Olympic 50p giveaway going on this week. There's going to be four winners. So the bank again has one more to finish off there. Benjamin Britton 50p. And the bank has now moved 70 points ahead of the post office, even though it was trailing before today's video. So here we go then, six from the bank, five overall from the post office. But there's a lot, lot more going on there with the bank. And we will do a star find of the day. And that is an unbelievable one, like I say. Christianity in Man 50p. One that you definitely do not see every day. And I haven't seen that coin really since I started off back doing it, like I say, a couple of years ago. Super impressed with that. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Another one of these going up tomorrow. Thanks for watching.